offering additional support and greater cooperation as Ukraine makes the reforms necessary to join the alliance. Ukraine has made some remarkable progress. Tragically, horrifically, uh, the policy at present is the ongoing aggression against Ukraine and the tremendous suffering that's bringing to Ukrainians and the threat that that continues to pose not only to Ukraine, but to the very principles at the heart of the international system that countries rely on. Uh, so that countries can't simply go in and try to change the territory and borders of another country by force or determine the future uh, of, that, of that country. Because we know if we leave that unchecked... that Ukraine's future is in NATO. Our goal now is to create a bridge to Ukraine's full membership, offering additional support and greater cooperation as Ukraine makes the reforms necessary to join the alliance. We have to confront now uh, and to make sure that uh, countries continue to do their part as well when it comes to helping Ukraine deal with the ongoing aggression from Russia. All of these things are front and center. Um, so we've had a very good session today focused on, uh, on preparations for the summit and the substance of the summit. Uh, more to follow uh, with Ukraine, with our partners, uh, and uh, with the ongoing work to strengthen our alliance for the future. We'll bolster our support for Ukraine and we'll deepen our cooperation with our partners in the Indo-Pacific as well as the European Union. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.